Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to the top five sweatiest FIFA players ever. There have been some unbelievably OP players in FIFA and in Ultimate Team over the journey, and today we're going to be counting down the top five, the very best. So, without further ado, let's go. And kicking off the top five at number five is going to be S Wine from FIFA 13. Alexander S. Wine was a 75 rated striker back in FIFA 13 with stats like 90 pace, 75 dribbling, 70 shooting, as well as three star skill moves and four star weak foot. And even though 90 pace is very impressive, don't let that number fool you. He was so, so fast. I'm pretty confident that the words pace and whore were first uttered in a row by a man that had to defend against this player. He finished on either side with absolute ease, regardless of whether it was his strong foot or his weak foot, if he even had one, and his shooting and dribbling stats were way lower than what they actually were. And he's also found himself a spot in a lot of FIFA YouTubers hearts but anyway let's move on to number four and this is going to go to team of the year Ibrahimovic from FIFA 14. Now, Team of the Year Ibrahimovic, obviously a very expensive, very highly rated player, and it really took a lot of convincing for me to put him into this list. But I sat and thought to myself, what does the term sweaty mean? I would like to think of it as a stupidly overpowered player considering the stats that they are given and how they're represented in the game. And even for a 96 rated Team of the Year striker, this guy was overpowered. And that is saying something. He was surprisingly fast for his stats and an absolute tank. His shooting is maybe the best I have ever seen in a game of FIFA. It is extraordinary absolutely unbelievable this is also back in the day when he had five star skill moves just to top it off but the best thing about him was his heading this is back in FIFA 14 where heading was unbelievably overpowered and a player like Ibrahimovic was cleaning up from the crosses there was simply no way I wasn't gonna have team of the year Ibrahimovic in a list dedicated to sweaty players but anyway moving on to number three and this is gonna be Sado Dumbia from FIFA 15 Sadu Dumbia has definitely had a lot of very good and very sweaty cards in FIFA, but his FIFA 15 card tops them all. He was a brilliant finisher, he's still as quick as ever, if not even faster than his previous cards, and then of course, he was super strong on the ball and almost impossible to stop. He also completed one of the best front threes that we have ever seen in the history of football. Yes, BBC is good, MSN's probably better, but GDI is the best. Jovino, Dumbia, and Mbabo. And you may hear about that last man in a second. That's an absolute guarantee. But anyway, moving on to number two, the runner-up. And it's going to go to Fred from FIFA 11. I swear to God, guys, this is not a troll. I understand that there are a lot of people watching this that may not have played FIFA 11 and especially may not have played with this man because he was an absolute hidden gem back in the day. If you used him, then you know that this is not a surprise at all. This is absolutely one of the best ultimate team cards there's ever been. He had five star weak foot, five star skill moves just to go with it. And this is before tactical defending. Every single stat that he had felt like it was about 20 overall or 20 plus what they had given him. And back in FIFA 11, when skilling was a really effective way of getting around and getting past opponents, this guy was maybe one of the best to have ever done it. Sadly though, for FIFA 11 ultimate team players, halfway through the game's lifespan, he was updated and downgraded from five star skill moves to three star skill moves and he became absolutely awful. They must have altered his stats in some way because everyone knew how overpowered this man was. Brazilian teams were just ridiculous and were incomplete without this man. And before we reveal the number one spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple of honorable mentions to get through. There's Nilmar, Emenike, Adair, Wellington, Eto, Aubameyang, Jovino, and so, so many more. But there can only be one number one. And ladies and gentlemen, it is going to go to the most obvious choice of all time, Victor Ababo from FIFA 14. When you think about sweaty players, is there anyone else that you think about straight away than Victor Ababo? He has become the poster boy for sweaty OP players. Even EA Sports themselves recognize the greatness of this man or the overpoweredness of this man. They're recognizing his overpoweredness in tweets. They're putting him in their own videos. There is just no denying the absolute state of this man. He was a six foot two absolute tank with 95 sprint speed. You couldn't catch him and you absolutely couldn't stop him. His shot was an absolute rocket. His heading was absolutely ridiculous even for FIFA 14 standards and he was just a controller killer. If you were the type of player that shat your pants whenever you saw Messi or Ronaldo in the other player's team, you would probably be the sort of guy that would just turn off your console if you saw a Barbo on the other. Has there ever been a more obvious answer? Victor Ababo, the most sweatiest player in the history of FIFA. But that's it for this top five list. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what your top five sweatiest players are of all time. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, my name's Master Bucks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.